Hello and welcome to X Talks Vitals, home to the latest food, life science, and medical device news. I'm Sonia Hunt. Good Pop, an Austin, Texas-based frozen dessert brand, is expanding its line of better-for-you frozen treats with the introduction of fudge and vanilla squares. Here's Sydney Pomater with the story. Thank you for the introduction, Sonia. Good Pop claims the new fudge and vanilla squares are the first plant-based and gluten-free frozen dessert squares. The treats are made with creamy vanilla oat milk ice cream and a chocolate fudge shell, contain 130 calories each, and have only 10 grams of sugar. The squares join the brand's robust lineup of better-for-you frozen desserts, including over 10 varieties of fruit-flavored freezer pops and chocolate vanilla sandwiches. All its products are USDA certified organic, non-GMO, and dairy-free. Good Pop was founded in 2009 by Daniel Goetz after he was unable to find wholesome and delicious frozen desserts. Soon after, Good Pop's first product became a hit at four popular farmers markets in Austin, and since then, its frozen treats can be found in Whole Foods and several other retailers over 40 states across the U.S. Good Pop is one of a handful of companies that specializes in better-for-you, plant-based frozen desserts. So Delicious Dairy Free, which has been around since 1987, is a trailblazer in the sector as one of the first brands to make use of almonds, cashews, coconuts, oats, and soy as dairy alternatives for its frozen desserts. With consumers seeking more dairy-free options, the global vegan dessert market size was valued at $2.77 billion in 2019 and is expected to reach a compound annual growth rate of 10.1% from 2020 to 2027. While it will face stiff competition from small brands and food giants alike, Good Pop is hoping to make a name for itself in the market. Back to you, Sonia. Thank you, Sydney, for that story. That's it for today's show. Visit xtalks.com for more information on this story and click the link in the description below to find out more about our featured food webinar for this episode. PFAS Treatment Sources Testing and Disposal what food and beverage manufacturers must know. Join us again for all your medical device, life science, and food industry news on xtalks.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Xtalks YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and click the notification button to stay tuned for more.